हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कंपेरिजन ऑफ लेसिस एंड कैनेडीज थ्योरी सो इन द लास्ट वीडियोस वी हैव कवर्ड द लेसिस थ्योरी एंड व्हाट आर द वेरियस रिजाइम कंडीशंस विच आर गिवन बाय द लेसिस एंड वी हैव डिस्कस द कैनेडीज थ्योरी एज वेल but today in this video we are going to make a brief comparison between these two theories that what are the differentiation made while deriving this theory so i hope you will like this video and find it very informative so let us start our discussion without wasting any time so the first difference is the basic concept of silt transportation is the same in both the theories both the theories agree that the silt is carried by the vertical eddies developed by the friction of the flowing water against the surface of the channel the difference is that kennedy considered channel of trapezoidal section and he neglected the effect of eddies generated from the sides so you can see here in this figure that as per kennedy all the eddies or turbulence are caused due to the bed of the canal only he assumed that all the turbulence or eddies are produced or formed at the bed of the canal only but lacy assume that these eddies or turbulence are caused at complete weighted parameter of the canal means is it it is developed on the bed as well as on the side slope also so the complete weighted parameter is responsible for the formation of eddies number 2 is kennedy's critical velocity formula was derived in terms of depth of flow so we have discussed this formula that v is equal to 0.546 md raised to the power 0.64 so the critical velocity formula was derived in terms of depth of flow only so here you can see a term d depth of flow only so critical velocity is related with the depth of flow only on the other hand lacy considered that an irrigation channel achieves semi elliptical shape and that entire weighted perimeter of the channel contributes to the development of silt supporting eddies he therefore used hmd means hydraulic mean depth as a variable in his rheim velocity formula so if you look at the formula given by the lacy that hydraulic mean depth r is equal to 5 v square upon 2 f if you know the value of r and f and calculate the velocity here so here velocity was was given in terms of hydraulic mean depth while in case of kennedy's it is given in terms of depth of flow only the third point is according to kennedy all those channels which neither silt nor scour are in rheim condition but lacy differentiated initial rheim conditions and final rheim conditions so as per kennedy if a channel is showing neither silting nor scouring it is in rheim condition but in case of lacy is defined three types of rheim condition namely initial rheim final rheim and true rheim so basically lacy given different rheim condition it is given as initial rheim condition and final rheim condition if we talk about the initial rheim condition if in a channel which is non silting or non scouring type if only the bed slope is varying then it is known as the initial rheim condition but if along with the bed slope the depth of flow and side slope is also varying with the varying parameter of uh, discharge and the silt grade then it is known as the final rheim condition the number 4 is kennedy did not give any importance of b by d ratio but lacy connected weighted parameter p and area of cross section a thus in case of lacy's theory there is a definite relationship between 
bed and depth of the channel so if you see in the kennedy's theory there is no term as b by d so there is no importance has been given to the b by d ratio but in case of lacy we use the term p weighted parameter which is equal to 4.75 under root q and we also use the area of cross sectional q which is equal to q upon v so whenever we are using the term area and parameter we are fixing the b by d ratio in the background the number 5 is kennedy did not give any slope formula as we have seen in this theory that there is no fixed bed slope the bed slope should be known initially before design but in lacy it give a definite slope formula in terms of discharge and silt factor so here you can see the formula given by lacy which is bed slope s which is equal to f raised to the power uh, f raised to the power 5 by 3 divided by 3340 into q raised to the power 1 by 6 the sixth point is according to lacy the grain size of the soil forming the channel is an important factor he connected the grain size dm means mean particle size with its silt factor f by equation this so in lacy there is a provision for the silt factor to account for the grain size of soil so it is given as 1.76 into under root dm where dm is the mean particle size and it is in terms of mm and this silt factor f occur in all lacy's equation which are used to determine the channel dimension but in case of kennedy kennedy did not give much importance to it and simply introduce a term m the critical velocity ratio but to account for the particle size or the grain size kennedy did not put much effort he simply introduced a term m in this well critical velocity formula here you can see the term m which is equal to the mean velocity of flow divided by the critical velocity so here no provision has been made for the grain size of the canal the point number 7 is kennedy's used kutter's formula for the determining the actual velocity of flow where in value of n is again a guess work so while we are designing the canal using kennedy's theory we use this kutter's formula and the n value we have used as a constant means again when whenever you are using this formula you have to guess the value of n so uh, here no provision has been made for the grain size that for that particular grain size the value of n should be this so there are no tabulation or no fixed value has been provided by the kennedy and whenever we are using this formula we have to guess the value of capital n but lacy on other hand gave a general design equation stating v is equal to 10.8 r raised to the power 2 by 3 multiply with s raised to the power 1 by 2 this equation was given by him on the basis of analysis of very large data obtained from the design channel so lacy derived this equation he found all that channel which are in design condition which in which is in true design condition means there is neither silting nor scouring and he observed all the data and derived this equation velocity v is equal to 10.8 r raised to the power 2 by 3 into s raised to the power 1 by 2 the point number 8 is lacy differentiated between two types of resistance in alluvial channel one resistance determined by grain size and the other due to irregularities of the channel on the other hand kennedy did not make any such distinction so in lacy's theory what we can say here that whenever a water flow it will the channel bed will give some resistance for its flow this resistance is called as total resistance which will be the sum of two terms the first one is frictional resistance which is due to bed because of the small small projection of the bed uh, material which which will 
caused the frictional resistance and the shock loss is due to irregularities or undulation or the sloping side of the bed or the formation of ripples on the bed so this this is completely defined by the lacy in two terms that this frictional resistance is, is due to the grain size and this shock loss is due to the irregularities of the channel which is present on the bed but kennedy uh, did not make any such distinction the point number 9 is kennedy's theory involved trial and error procedure for the design of canal as we see now in our last video lecture that we have to use trial and error approach for the values of d so it is a tedious task but lacy theory does not involve any trial and error procedure it will directly give you the value of cross section and all those uh, uh, geometrical parameter of the channel so thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end i hope you will find this video very informative if you have any doubt you can mention it in the comment box also if you want to be a part of our whatsapp group group you can check out the description box the link for to join the whatsapp group is there and if you want to be in uh, want to be in connect with me on linkedin the profile the link of my linkedin profile is in the description box you can click there and join me also happy learnings with the let's grow family thank you okay bye bye take care